Hey guys, Nick here from Tech Core Duo. In this video, we're going to install Organizer version 2 on our Docker server. I'm running an Ubuntu server that's run, that has Docker installed, and we're going to take the parameters from Docker Hub and get that image installed. So um, this is version 2. There is Organizer version 1, and you can get that from Organizer Tools and from Linux server um, under the Docker Hub as well. That's a great version 2. So um, we're going to take this one, we're going to install it, and uh, get it started. So the first thing we want to do is head over to Docker Hub. So Organizer, what Organizer does for us is it takes our media management and our services, our home lab services, and puts it all into a nice, neat tab type uh, layout for us so that we can just click on it and it'll pop up as a tab. Instead of bookmarks, you would use something like this to view everything and access it without um, extra logins and extra items that you need to put in. It's a very cool tool and I, and I enjoy using it. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. And as you can see here, here there's Docker create, and this is under the usage. So we're going to copy this, head, head over to a notepad and paste it. So here we got Docker create, the name is going to be organizer and now the path. So the path, I want to use this on our local Ubuntu server. It's going to be home forward slash Docker, which is my user. So you might have a different username. And then I'm just going to name the folder organizer. So you can go ahead and put this wherever you'd like, but that's usually the way I, I do things here. And then of course, this is for the config files. This is where it's going to store all those files there. Next is going to be the PG ID. We're going to make this 1000. We're going to go over to the other side here and do the exact same thing. And then the port is 8080. You can change this if you'd like. I know Linux server uses 9983 for his organizer uh, image. And then this, of course, is the uh, path so that it pulls the image down. So we're going to copy this whole thing. Go ahead and open up a terminal session to your server. So I already have mine open here. If you guys would like a video on how to install uh, Docker into Ubuntu, just let me know. Put it in the comments below um, that you guys want to see that. There are a lot of guides out there already on how to do this, so I wasn't sure if this is, should be involved in this video, but if you guys want it, I can make it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and paste this in here now, and click enter. So now it's going to find the image and download it for us. And we'll give that a second, and there we go. So it created our container. Let's go ahead and do a Docker start organizer. And now organizer is starting. So let's give that a quick minute. So and now if you want to find your IP address of the server, we can do ifconfig. I'm going to scroll up here. And our server is 192.168.86200. So that's my server there. I'm going to go ahead and open it up in a tab here, 192.168.86.200. No port there because it's on port 80. So we're just going to hit enter. And there we go. So now it loaded. So this is Organizer version 2. It is very different from version 1, but uh, it's, it's got a lot of unique features in here too. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the install type. We're going to go do a personal license here. Click on next. Now what's a username? So let's go ahead and create a username. I'll make it TechCore, put in the email address, and I'm just going to make a very simple password. And we're going to click next. Now it wants to uh, essentially encrypt everything that you have. So we're going to have to create a hash key here. So go ahead and make this whatever you want and make sure you do save it. Registration password. And then of course, here's your API key if you need that for anything as well. So I'm going to click next. And now it wants you to choose the destination of your database. So it says suggested directory here. We're going to go ahead and just copy that. Hit that copy button paste it down in the database location here. And then we're going to give it a name. So we'll just name an org, organizer DB. And then from here, all you need to do is click next. It's going to verify everything. You can hover over to show the keys and we'll click finish. So we're going to close out of that and let's go ahead and log in. All right, now that we're logged in, 
you can see that it kind of gives you a whole bunch of information here. It tells you about the API coming this week. It also has a bunch of information down here as well, and it shows you the sponsors, which is very cool. So um, first thing we want to do, of course, let's, let, let's add some services to it. So we're going to go to Tab Editor, and from here, we would just click the plus button on the right. Tab name, let's go ahead and name this one Radar. And our tab URL, I'm gonna use a local URL. I actually have it listed right here, my local URLs, because I keep forgetting what port numbers they are. So that's 7878 for Radar. I'm gonna go ahead and head down to Choose Image. I'm gonna choose Radar. And from here, we don't really need anything else. So radar is pretty simple. Uh, there are ping URLs too, so that you can also uh, have a ping going to it so you get some notifications and so on. But radar is simply just a web interface that you click on and open up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add. So it's been added. It wants us to reload the page to view it, but let's go ahead and add a couple more tabs here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add sonar as well. I'm gonna head down back back to here and I'm going to add this paste that in there and let's find the sonar image and then we can go ahead and click add get this out of the way so we have sonar we have radar and let's do one more I'm going to do Tatuli. let's get the path for that as well And we can type it in here too, to Thule, and then add. And there we go. So we have those three services added. Let's go ahead and now do a refresh. So everything should be there. Let's refresh the entire page. And now we have it all listed on the left here. So you can see radar, sonar, to Thule. Let's go ahead and click on it. It's going to load right up and bring us directly to each of the services. So this is a great tool to organize yourself, get yourself up and running, and manage everything from one nice, simple UI. So if you guys have any questions on how to get this installed or if you run into any trouble, please let me know. Uh, like and subscribe and enjoy your day.